Hello my beautiful Pisces, welcome to your reading for second half of January 2024. I hope you're doing well. I did a tiny pre-shuffle and what I'm getting is a truce. I feel like you and your person of interest are coming together and you're holding each other's hands and you're trying to make peace. That's what I'm getting from the lovers card, okay? And it was the same with the eight of cups in the reverse. Someone's coming back around. Someone who previously left. Let's see what else I can get. Show me what is going on. Who is Pisces dealing with in love? Yeah, I feel like there could have been a period of separation or silence or non-communication. Angels and Spirit, please show me. Some of you could have been living together. I saw the Four of Wands and there could have been conflict around your living situation. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is going on for Pisces in love in the second half of January 2024. Yeah, someone coming back in. Um, Angels and Spirit, please show me what's going on for Pisces in love. Second half of January 2024. I feel like it could have been a bit of a power struggle. You know, you could have had an argument and there was some posturing, you know, to gain the upper hand. That's what I'm getting. Show me, please, what's going on for Pisces in love? Yeah, I do see conflict. At the bottom of the deck, there's the Five of Swords, right? So a conflict, a battle where the two of you kind of left empty-handed. Again, I'm getting egos, bruised, power struggles. But I'm seeing it coming back around. Clearly, there's a returning, all right? And there's a healing after maybe a broken heart, okay? Um, three of Swords in the reverse position. I feel like you're coming back together um, and you're making decisions. You know, where is this going? Where can we actually, where are we headed and how can we make this work? There could be some tra travel plans on the horizon because we've got the world card here and then we also have this woman holding the, the world. So I feel like there could be travel plans on the horizon. Look, I'm seeing that whatever happened with the two of you came into conflict. I feel like it could have been around Christmas because I'm seeing the wreath here in the world card, all right? I'm seeing around Christmas time. Um, so the two of you kind of, you know, retreated. I'm hearing the word with, retreated, you withdrew. There's the, um, the high priestess, which is your energy. And I feel like you trusted, you had faith that this was going to resolve itself in whatever way it needed to. The high priestess next to the star. You had hope. You had intuition that this person would come back, okay? But I feel like you needed to take some time out. Um, you needed this separation to go within and try and understand the broken pieces in this relationship and whether or not there's scope to repair those broken pieces. Or, you know, do you want to repair those broken pieces? Because the Ten of Cups is here in the reverse. I feel like some of you may have had doubts that there could have been a happily ever after with this person. For some of you, you couldn't just you couldn't get it together with your living situation. Maybe there were other people kind of complicating it, um, or the two of you just couldn't achieve harmony um, at home, um, or you didn't want to live the same way. Like for example, one of you might have been a homebody, whereas the other person wanted to go out more. Um, something along those lines, but there was something around you doubting whether on the long term the two of you could achieve that um, ultimate relationship, that happily ever after, that white picket fence dream, okay? So I feel like there was some kind of power struggle with this seven of wands, um, you wanted to stand your ground to make a point. There was some kind of inflexibility, some kind of stubbornness. It's, it's kind of like, no, I'm not willing to compromise on this matter. Okay, that's what I'm being shown. And then we've got the King of Swords. There was some kind of detachment, maybe some harsh words. Um, 
and we've got a lot of tears as well is what I'm seeing with this ace of cups in the reverse position but it was hard being apart from each other is what I'm getting um, with this ten of wands but there is something in this connection that seems to be a bit of a burden for some of you it could have something to do with communication for some of you it could have to do with distance especially with the world card the star card and the eight of wands for some of you it could just be the way that this relationship was moving forward or not like the trajectory the direction it was heading could have been all of the above were challenges causing you to doubt whether this relationship was sustainable whether it was meant to be um and I do feel like, I'm oh, sorry, hey, that's an ad. I'm just going to mute this. So I feel like um, you were trying to make a decision based on your emotional needs. You know, is this relationship making me happy? Is it what I imagined? Um, am I able to do what I want to do with my partner or are we going to just continue to butt heads? Do I like where th where my partner is steering this relationship? Because we have the King of Wands here in the reverse position. This can mean someone who's trying to take the lead um, within the relationship, but leading it in the wrong way or making irresponsible decisions and causing the relationship to kind of get off track. Um, hmm, let's see. Yeah, it's like the two of you just had different ideas about where this relationship was headed and the ultimate goal, basically. We've got the Hierophant in the reverse. So it's like your values are different. I feel like your your person wanted to offer you, a, they wanted to offer a solid offer, a solid commitment, but you were wondering whether it was, you know, your ideal it's like you should have been happy. You should have you should have been happy about this desire to commit, but you needed some time away from this connection to really figure out whether it's really what you wanted. You know, oh, that's that's what I'm getting. Let me just see what else we can get. Hmm. ended abruptly or you know um in a way like these doubts could have been plaguing you for some time but then when everything culminated into an argument things could have been severed quite quickly is the impression that I'm getting so let's see what your advice is and what this person would like to say to you angels and spirit please show me what is Pisces advice in love what is Pisces advice in love in the second half of January 2024 I feel like you might have grass is greener syndrome you might be thinking you know I could probably aspire to a relationship that meets my needs more you know show me please spirit show me what does Pisces need to know regarding this connection what is the message for Pisces Some of you are tempted to go back um, because this relationship was a source of comfort, right? You have a decision to make. You've got power of choice. Trust that whatever choice you make, love will find you again. Don't stay out of fear. Yeah, see, some of you are tempted to go back because it's familiar, it's safe, it's comfortable. Um, this person doesn't want to lose you, but I am picking up on some kind of family issue or issue with the household or the living situation. Spirit is saying, trust your angels. There's something about this person being quite stubborn. They're afraid that when they come back, wanting to kind of resurrect this relationship, you're going to reject them. I feel like they have done a little bit of thinking and they realize what 
work needs to be done, you know, what they need to change or improve, you don't know this because they're hiding their plans. You know, they're keeping you in the dark for now. Um, yeah, they're not ready to come forward. They're seeing things in a different light, which is progress. You know, I do see a conversation, a heart to heart conversation. You've got clear the air, but I feel like you're not going to be 100% certain you want to try again because you've got, you deserve better and commitment issues. You won't want to recommit to this. You might decide to give this person, um, um, what's the word, like a bit of a probationary period. You, you might say to them, look, I'm willing to give this a try, but on my terms and I'm not promising anything, that type of thing. Because I feel like you're happy being by yourself and you'd rather be by yourself than be in a relationship that doesn't really do it for you 100%. Okay. Um, I feel like this person's quite lonely. They do want you back, but like you're more inclined to say, let's just move on and see what else is out there. That's kind of what I'm getting in these cards. Let's have a look at what they want to say to you. Angels and Spirit, please show me what does they no, so what does Pisces person want to say to Pisces? What does Pisces want? Sorry, what does Pisces person want to say to Pisces? This person does want to be the total package for you. But in your mind, you're probably like, well, I've told them what's missing for me and they just won't change. Um, for some of you anyway. You might have been having dreams about this person and they might be telling you that they've dreamt about you as well. Yeah, they definitely want to work things out with you. They're saying, I know we're two very different people, but with effort we can complement each other. But you are definitely skeptical because you see a side to this person that is stubborn and resistant to change in order to make this relationship work. So I feel like you know on the long term the wheels are just going to fall off again. Um, there's some kind of selfishness with this person where they've demonstrated on a few occasions they only care about their own needs. Um, whereas, you know, you're quite selfless, Pisces, right? Angels and Spirit, please show me. You know, this person might be a little bit defensive in that they say, well, that's not my responsibility to provide A, B or C for you. You can provide that to yourself and then we can just meet in the middle and have a good time together. And it's just not your idea of how things should be in a relationship. So that's what I'm being shown. Um, let's get a, a message from the Crystal Spirit deck. And I just need to find the guidebook. All right, so this deck has some really profound messages. So let's see what your message is. Angels and Spirit, please show me. What is Pisces' message, second half of January 2024? Feeling this card, which is Petalite. And Lemurian Quartz. All right, so let's have a look. So Petalite is talking about the ability to d detach and observe. So it says there are times when you're emotionally too close to a situation. So this is why I feel like you've taken a step back from this person so that you could come to a real conclusion. It's also possible that what's really going on can't be seen by analysing the details and guessing at the motives for someone else's behaviour because that may be triggering you. Right now, the way forward is to step back, do nothing, observe the dynamic between you and the other person. Soon everything will become clear and, you'll, and by you becoming the observer, you'll find that you really didn't need to do anything to change the situation. It has a life of its own and is offering you a valuable lesson. Sometimes we want to fix something right away when all we're invited to do is to hold space and listen. 
All right, so um, Lemurian Quartz is talking about, yeah, the need to get the bigger picture, see the bigger picture. Um, so you have taken a step back. You understand that every relationship has its ups and downs, but I feel like you're trying to work out whether there's more downs than ups. Um, yeah, exactly what I said. You're trying to work out if this relationship is what you envisioned. Do you need to see something new so that you can feel a sense of contentment and fulfillment? Can you awaken to your connection to the universe that lies within you so that you may be shown something even better than you dream about? So your power to imagine what you can co-create is very strong now and you are being urged to go big and wide with a vision that truly speaks to your soul's desires. Again, it goes back to that card that said, you know, trust that if you decide to, to move away from this relationship, um, there will be something else for you. So don't stay out of fear. Let the conscious universe show you what's possible in your relationships that you have not been aware of before. There's a big picture that you may not have been seeing. Okay, so do leave me feedback in the comment section below, Pisces. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.